Hello and welcome to Mathematical Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss a very common and a well known result that is the sum of all the internal angles of a triangle no matter what kind of triangle you take it can be any kind of triangle when the internal angles of a triangle is added then the sum will always be 180 degree okay so before we start my name is Uman Khawas and if you have any problem in learning mathematics then consider subscribing to this channel you can also connect me through other social sites like facebook and instagram so let's begin with the theorem the statement of the theorem says that the sum of all the internal angles of a triangle is equal to two right angle so what let's see what is the internal angles of a triangle so internal angles are the angles that are made inside the triangle okay these three are all the internal angles of a triangle so these are the internal angles so let us see what is a two right angle so two right angle means right angle means it is 90 degree so it is 2 into 90 that is equals to 180 degree so this is two right angle so it means that whenever you add this three internal angle so it should be equal to 180 this is the thing that we need to prove okay let's start with the theorem so given abc is a triangle which is very much obvious so required to prove is angle abc plus angle bca plus angle acb will be equal to 180 degrees so what is abc abc is this angle here bca is the angle situated here and angle acb is the angle here so when added it will give us 180 degree so before we proceed to proof we need to construct so what is the thing that we need to construct extend a line extend a line bc to a point till d so we must extend this line okay extend the line till the point d we must extend this line to a point till d okay so why do we do this kind of construction it's because it helps us in using a result that we already know so let's see what is the result that we want to use in this theorem so we know that the external angle of a triangle external angle of a triangle that is this angle here is equal to the sum of the internal opposite internal angle so that is what does it mean it is angle abc plus bca so this is the angle abc and angle bca when these two angles are added we must get angle acd so this is the theorem that we have already proved Okay, and if you don't know the proof, the link will be given in the description. You, you can go and check that video out. So, angle ABC, angle ABC is this angle here, angle BCA is this angle here, and angle ECD is this angle here. Okay, so now, now let's see what is angle ACD plus angle ACB. So, angle ACD is the angle here this is angle ACD this angle ACD and angle ACB angle ACB is the angle from year to year this is angle ACB so when we add this two angle it means we are adding this angle and the angle here so it makes a straight angle that means it is a straight angle here so what will be the value of a straight angle the value of a straight angle is 180 degree so when we add this two angle it will give us 180 degree and why is that so because it is a straight angle so now we already know that the angle ACD is angle ABC plus angle BCA okay now I'll replace this values here okay I'll put this value in place of angle ACD so what happens is that so angle ACD is replaced by angle ABC and angle BCA. Why? Because they are equal. And angle ABC, ACB is written as it is and 180 degrees also written as it is. So finally what we get is angle ABC plus angle BCA plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degree. So let's see in the diagram what is angle ABC. What is angle ABC? angle ECB is this angle here angle BAC is this angle here 
angle BC. And what is angle ECB? Angle ECB is this angle here. So these are all the three internal angles. So when they are being added, we are getting 180 degree. So this is how we prove this theorem. I hope you understood the proof of the theorem. And if there's anything you didn't understand, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a good day.